What is up guys, welcome back, it is ATG Conquer here from Roger Wee's Gaming bringing you guys another GTA 5 video. Now today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this awesome car right here. This is GTA 5's version of Paul Walker's Figure 7 GTR. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this car entirely from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go right ahead and we're going to get a brand new LG RH8. And which you can get from Legendary Motorsport. And you get this car for free when you are a Rockstar Club social member. So, what we want to go ahead and do is, since I am a social club member here, I thought I said it right here somewhere. Hmm. Hey, must not. Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead, we're just going to order this in black here. Put it in this apartment. And we'll just get rid of our Damon here. Yeah, so we'll just replace our Damon here. And while we wait, what we're going to do here is we're just going to look at the other cars that we've got in our garage here. So what we're going to do is all of these cars that you guys see right here. And then this awesome little Reaper right here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn all of these into different cars from Fast and Furious movies. Now these ones over here. These last two are going to be from Fast and Furious 7. I'll be turning this one right here into Ludacris's big Jeep from the scene where they were driving on the road and it got shot all up by that bus with the awesome guns. This will be Letty's Charger from that same, same scene there. This will end up being Dom's Daytona from Fast and Furious 6. This will be Paul Walker's... And here it is, uh, Paul Walker's Escort from the same movie. And then right here, we're going to try to turn this thing right here into Roman's Mustang from Fast and Furious 6. And then this big beast over here is going to be the Lycan Hypersport that they jumped across the movies in Abu Dhabi from Fast and Furious 7 whenever they were stealing the computer chip that held God's eye and they were taking that back from the prince in Abu Dhabi now let's just take the jester out here real quick we'll wait for the LG to get back into the garage here let's take this and we'll drive it around until we get the text All right, so yeah, like I said, guys, we're gonna be bringing. I'm gonna be bring, actually. I'm going to bring bringing you guys video uh, of making all those cards into Fast and Furious cars, and uh, then I'm gonna try to get Sniper and Ender Ginger here. We'll get you back for another video about how to do the heist, actually. So I want to try to show you guys how to do Pacific Standard and try to bring you guys a really great way of doing that. Try to really, really efficient way of doing that without losing too much money because. From what everybody tells me, you lose a bunch of money on that heist. And I'm determined to find a way for you guys that you don't lose much at all. Because, I mean, hey, if we do it on hard, we want the full $1.25 million cut, right, guys? So I'm going to find you guys a way to get that. Let's just drive back here. We'll see if that brand new LG has spawned in our garage. Let's just let's go pull right in here, guys, shall we? Alright. Hopefully it's there. Alright, there we go, guys. As you can see, a brand new LG RH8. I'm going to take this thing and what is Fast and Furious it. Alright, so what you guys want to do is just want to head over to Los Santos Customs. The closest one to me is in the middle of the city here. I'll just show you where it's at. It is right here. Right smack dab in the middle. So let's go head over here. Alright, now you guys shouldn't need too much money for this. If you guys are short, low on level for any of this, or you don't have any prerequisites for the colors, or for the, the suspension, or any of that stuff, Send me a message on Xbox if you'd like, and I'd be happy to help you guys do races and get money, do missions, get you guys the cash to get these because these cars are awesome, and I'd love to help you guys have them if you want them. So, 
send a comment down below on the video or send me a message on Xbox. My name gamer tag is ATG Conquer. And I'm going to put that down in the description box. You guys can check that out. Send me a message, my comments, and I'll try to get back to you guys and get you guys into a lobby with me. And we'll get you guys the money and the prerequisites for these. Alright, so let's just go ahead and repair this car up a little bit. And the first thing we want to do is we want to head down here to the hood. And you can either do the double vented or the carbon hood. Because in the video, well, the movie rather, in that clip, he had a carbon double vented hood. So either one can really work. We'll just go with the double vented one on this car. And then we'll head down here. We want to go to respray, primary color, metallic. And then we want to go the whole way down to midnight blue. Now for this color, as you can see right here, it is 10 best laps. That is how you unlock this car. The easiest way to do this is do the criminal records mission. It's a race and it's, it's going to be set to one lap. All it does is it drives you straight around Bolingbroke Prison. I will show you on the map as soon as I get out of here. So we want to do the primary and the secondary as both Midnight Blue. So there we go. Midnight Blue. Bam. Now we want to go over here. Go down to Spoiler. You guys want to do either this spoiler right here which is none or you can go to the high level spoiler this is a little bit closer to what he had in the movie now obviously we're limited by restrictions of what GTA has into the game and what they actually had custom made for those cars but this is about the closest we can get for it is the high level spoiler which is $10,000 and a loss at rank 11 so we'll put that on here for you and then we'll go down. I recommend lowering this thing as low as you possibly can for your level. If you guys are over level 71, you can go to the competition suspension, which I have right there. And then that is just about all for you guys. That's about all we need to put on this car. And it is now Paul Walker's Furious 7 GTR. And real quick, since I, I said I show you guys that criminal records mission. It is right up here at the prison. And as you guys can see, the, it is not here on the map. But all it does is it takes you in just in this little circle right here. And it's a real short little race. You can set it to one lap and then do it on supercars. Because supercars will let you unlock the criteria for all the different car classes. So as you can see, this is a sports car. It will unlock it for sports cars as well. And that way you have Midnight Blue, and you guys can make Paul Walker GTR. Now we'll just head on back to the garage, and I'll put this baby away here. And you guys can see the carbon hood as well, because I have the carbon hood on the other one. I'm going to show you real quick here. Now I think the next video I'm going to do, I think we're going to do that Daytona Charger. It is, I believe, a 69 Daytona Charger, actually, if I don't know too much about cars, but for those of you guys that do, I believe it is a 69 Daytona Charger, and it has a high-level wing on it, and it's just an awesome car. Now, for the movie, they had a really custom back, and it looked really, really awesome. So we're going to try to duplicate that on this car in the next video. Check it out if you guys want to see it. But real quick here, just to finish this up, here is the carbon hood. So whichever one you guys like, you can do either one. They both look pretty awesome in my opinion. But there is Paul Walker's Fast and Furious 7 GTR. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.